Okay, this is a uh, keynote presentation on personality adaptations by Bob Cook. And it's looking at Paul Ware's model of personality adaptations. Um, and it's a diagnostic model for therapists to be able to diagnose which personality adaptation the client is coming from when they present for treatment how to contact them and ways uh, or, or ways of looking at um, the areas to be aware of uh, in terms of blocks to communication. Okay, so let's look at the six adaptations and we'll go first to the adaptation called obsessive compulsive. Uh, these are people that are quite black and white in their thinking um, they usually are people who, you know, are very tied into shoulds, oughts, wants, musts. In other words, a lot of energy into high parent ego state. They have um, a psychological system where they uh, go around with a high defining parent in their head. Their open door uh, is thinking, target door is feeling and trapdoor is behavior. So if the therapist is diagnosed that the person is coming from an obsessive compulsive adaptation, then they would be best served in terms of attunement to ask thinking questions rather than feeling questions or observing their behaviors. So they would appeal to their thinking first. Um, the target door is where the person really wants to go to in terms of um, underlying processes. And the top door is which the therapist keeps away from because people who are obsessive compulsive don't like behavioral change. Now, of course, in terms of um, where a person is going in terms of treatment planning, uh, the therapist is, of course, looking at the end for the person to integrate their feelings and their behaviours and their thinkings. But the best way to contact somebody obsessive-compulsive so there's good attunement and rapport is through their open door, which they like, which, of course, is thinking. The second adaptation is paranoid uh, adaptation. The open door, in other words, they're a tuned contact door is thinking. They're very good thinkers. Um, target door, in other words, what you're aiming for underneath the thinking, uh, which they quite like um, uh, coming from, which is feelings. And of course, the trap door, which they want to at all costs keep away from, which is behavior. So if you want to tune well to them, increase rapport, ask them thinking questions, they're good thinkers. They've had to do that to protect themselves in the past and to be able to predict the future and the present. Um, so paranoid people, pretty well people who are um, pretty suspicious. They like predicting ahead. Um, but they are good thinkers and they like being uh, addressed by thinking questions first. OK, the next adaptation would be schizoid. This is the withdrawn, uh, passive, often daydreaming type of character. Schizoid means split, so they're often uh, split between their thinking, feeling and behaviour. And they're people who um, are highly dutiful, so they'll come regularly for therapy. They're highly adapted, so they've got very strong please others drivers. And the best way or... Uh, the most attuned contact door, their open door, is behaviour. Um, then you're heading towards thinking. And finally, the door they don't want to go to, but you need to integrate this with their thinking and their behaviours, of course, feelings. So you keep feeling, inquiring questions um, for last, or certainly keep away from. Um, so it's behaviour, thinking and feeling uh, for this type of character. OK, passive aggressive. OK, so these are the people who um, communicate through 
passive aggressive processes often turned inwards though of course you know they're angry their open door is behavior their target door is feeling and you keep away from thinking questions and these types of people like to struggle um, they get intimacy by struggling they want you to do their thinking for them and they need to integrate feeling and thinking okay so let's now go on to histrionic somebody who's his, who's an hysteric um, of course their open door would be feeling so feeling inquiry or feeling questions uh, this is the best way to increase rapport with this type of person their target door is thinking so they're they're quite like um, a therapist that will ask them thinking questions but they need to of course first be uh, communicated through feeling questions and of course where they don't like to go is anything to do with behavioral change so in the end of the day, of course, they need to know they can think and feel at the same time. Uh, and they're, they're, they're people who um, you increase rapport uh, through feeling inquiry. Antisocial people, um, often called charming manipulators, their open door is um, behaviour, their target door is feeling. And of course, the trapdoor place where they don't want to go is thinking. So uh, you you uh, meet this person through behavioural observations aimed at thinking questions. Oh, sorry, aimed at feeling questions to integrate their thinking. Often um, they're quite adapted in some ways. Um, I know one another nickname for them would be charming manipulators. Um, so they're people who often you will not see in psychotherapy um, and if they do come to psychotherapy they often come um, because they've been sent or they need to come for um, uh, issues perhaps which the courts have wanted them to come to so you, but you don't really see them in psychotherapy okie dokie so uh, 